Hi everyone and welcome back to this channel. Today I will show you how to use the same login form and same register form and redirect the user to the different route. For example, the admin will be redirected to the slash admin dashboard and the normal user will be redirected just to the simple dashboard slash dashboard route. And then I will show you how to use the same login and register form and redirect the admin and the normal user to the same dashboard route, but serve them different content. They will see different uh, content on the dashboard basically. And if you're interested how we made this to do app in Laravel 10 with different roles and permissions, you can check the previous video link link will be in the description. Now, before we jump on the code, please subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. Okay, so in Laravel 10, everyone who logs in or register gets redirected to the dashboard page by default. And that's this uh, slash dashboard comes from uh, the following file. If you go to the providers folder and the route service provider, you can see this public const home and this is a uh, redirect us to the dashboard. So for example, if somebody is authenticated, so logs in, after the logs in, they will get redirected to this uh, home route, which is slash dashboard. So as you can see, the redirection uh, uh, value gets from this route service provider home constant. So if you go to the route service provider home, same if you register a new, if the new user is registered after we created the new user, authenticate the new user and it's get redirected to the route service provider home. So everyone gets redirected to this, uh, to this slash dashboard. So if you would like to redirect your admin and the user to the different uh, routes after they logged in, then you need to do some modifications. Unfortunately, I'm not able to change as far as uh, my knowledge. I'm not able to put some logic here to decide if the uh, user is an uh, admin or just a simple user and redirect them accordingly. So what I will do, I will go to the user's uh, model and just create a new function get redirect route. And in this function, as we are using uh, Laratrust, we have this uh, method has role. So we can check if the user has a admin role or to, uh, in our case, we created a to-do list user, which is basically a simple user. So we have admin and to-do list user. And if we have an admin who logs in, then we want to redirect them to the admin dashboard. Uh, or if uh, the logged in user is just a simple user, then we want to use uh, the user dashboard uh, route. Okay, so inside this user.php, <clears throat> we are checking what role the user has and we redirect them accordingly. We are cre creating this route for them. So now we need to use this uh, function whenever a user logs in. So if you go to the app folder, HTTP controllers out folder, then inside that you will see this authenticated session controller. And here you will see this uh, line where you need to use this newly created function. So we check the authenticated user, get redirect route. So we're running this uh, function. And also if you, if we register a new user, we also need to change here as well. We need to check the authenticated user, uh, get redirect route. Of course, don't forget, uh, you need to maybe change in your application in different uh, places, but for now, we change it in inside this uh, uh, login and uh, register controller. Okay, now we need to create these uh, routes, admin dashboard and user dashboard. So let's go to the 
web.php. And for now, we just a simple copy and paste this route two times. And let's make admin dashboard and a user dashboard. And for the admin dashboard, we would like to serve, we would like to serve the uh, admin dashboard view. Same for the user. Now we need to create these views. So if you go to the view, uh, if you go to the resources views, we need to create, basically we copy and paste this uh, dashboard.blade.php. So let's just uh, copy and paste here. And one more time. <coughs> so let's rename this. Okay, so now we have an admin and a user dashboard. Let's uh, just modify this uh, admin dashboard. You are logged in as an admin and now let's create a new user let's log out register a new user and by default we are creating a users <clears throat> so that's why we get redirected to the users page as you can see user dashboard and uh, we already have created a admin user in this application. So if I log out and log in as an admin, admin dashboard not found. I think I have a typo somewhere, uh, admin dashboard. Okay, let's check the code. Yeah. Okay, so it immediately works now. Okay, so I'm logged in as an admin now and I get redirected to the admin, admin uh, dashboard. Okay, so this is how you can redirect the admin and the user uh, to different routes and serve them different content, uh, but they can still use the same register and uh, login form. Now let's uh, use the same login and register form and redirect back them to the dashboard, but show them different uh, content according their roles. So the admin will see admin dashboard and the user will see user dashboard, but they both of them uh, redir get redirected to the dashboard. So the route will be the same, but the content is different. We just created different routes with different content. Now we do the same route with different content. So for this, I will roll back everything here because uh, we want to use this route service provider. So register has to be rolled back as well. Okay, and the authenticated user gets redirected to the home. Okay, so now we will be redirect our user as its default in Laravel. So we redirect them to the home, which is the slash dashboard inside the route for their web.p. So all the user who registers or logs in, we will get will redirect it to this slash dashboard, but they will see a different content. For that, we will use a dashboard controller, or even we can use this uh, profile controller. It's already there in uh, Laravel 10. So we want to visit the slash dashboard route, but after that, um, instead of this uh, 
instead of this uh, custom function, let's just delete it. And we want to use this controller. Let's make uh, a custom method inside this controller called dashboard. Okay, the name will be the same. And of course, they have to be authenticated and verified. Okay, so now if the user logs in or register, will be get redirected to this dashboard page, which will serve basically, which will goes to this profile controller dashboard method. Now let's go to the HTTP folder controllers, and you will see this uh, profile controller by out of the box. It came come with uh, comes with a uh, Laravel breeze, and let's just create this uh, dashboard uh, method here, public function basically. Okay, so now inside this uh, dashboard method, we will need to check if the authenticated user who just logged in or who just uh, created a new account is admin or they are a just a simple user. We will use here the trust uh, method has raw and we can check if the authenticated user is an admin. Then return a view for them. called the uh, admin dashboard. Mm -hmm. I have a typo here. As if, so you can check multiple, multiple roles. We could use only else here, but uh, let's just use else if. Same check. But we want to check if it's a, a to-do list user in our case. So this to-do list user and admin comes from the database. Uh, in the previous video, we are uh, we are set it up uh, Lara Trust, and we are created basically. If you go to the, we are basically created two type of user: admin and to-do list user. If you go to the uh, to, to, to config folder. It should be here, yep, config and uh, larger seeder. As you can see, I created an admin and to-do list user. So I have two, two type of users. Okay, so now let's test this out. We already receive a problem. Profile, profile controller dashboard method doesn't exist. Check it. HTTP controllers, profile controller. Ah, yeah, I have a typo here. Okay, let's see, it should work now. Yes, okay, so at the moment we are logged in as an admin. So we are seeing the slash dashboard, same route, but with different content here. Now let's log out and create a new user, which will be automatically will be a just a simple to-do list user because that's how we create a new user. So if you check the app out HTTP, and authentication and register new user. As you can see, when we create a new user, we add a role to do list user. So out of the box, all the new user who registers will be this to do list user. So we should see user page, but we are see nothing. So dashboard, which could be another typo here. You go to the profile controller. Oh yeah, because we are not uh, returning anything for this, uh, for this if statement. So let's just do that. So else if authenticated user has a to-do list user role, then return a view. I forget this part, but at this time I wanna show them the user dashboard. Uh, content. Let's see it now. If I hit refresh, as you can see, I'm logged in as a simple user. If I log out and log in as a admin, uh, 
and as we expected we are at the admin dashboard page now at the dashboard route register new to-do list user logs in same route dashboard but we are showing them different content okay i hope this content helped to you if so please hit the like button and subscribe to this channel and see you soon in the next video